<laughs> well, Bobby, you pick, since you picked one, pick one for me. I don't, I don't really have anything planned. So, you know, okay. Pull one out. I'm going to go ahead and request a song that was your first hit, and it brings back a lot of memories. Like I said, I lived down, down here for almost three years. I worked over at WLAY. I was roommates with Mike McGuire and Shannon Dog. And uh, so I'm on the air one day at the radio station, and Mark works at another radio station down in there. Where was that? Lexington? WLX. And he, we would call each other and share song ideas and, and ask each other's opinion about songs we were working on. And he called me one day and he shared me some of the lyric that he had written for this song. And I was just blown away. And it wasn't long before my roommate, Mike McGuire, Shenandoah, came in one evening and he says, well, we're going to cut a little song that Martin Armstrong wrote by himself called Moon Over Georgia. And it was a big old hit for them. And so when I hear this on the radio to this day, my mind goes back to those days here at Muscle Shows when you shared that with me. But it was really interesting that we would both be on the air when we were talking to each other, calling each other. So we were mainly writing songs on, on the phone, but we were still on the air. And he'd have to set the phone down and do the weather. And I hear him do W L A Y. You know, weather day at the shows it's 107. Heat index of 115. And then I'd have to put my phone down. Wait a minute, Bobby. We quit right a minute. Well, that was Eddie Raven and the song was by <laughs> Peanut Montgomery from uh, Amy Lou Harris. And, uh, w L X. Stay tuned for George Jones. <laughs> but it, it was uh, fun you know, talking about songs like that. We were young and we were just so. And you know, you know, when you first start, you just get the bug. That's what yeah. me and Bobby were at that point. We, we just couldn't get enough of songs and learning about songwriting, right? Yeah, how did over 30 years ago go by so fast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, 30 plus years. Man. I'll do this one. Recorded fame. He owns the biggest state. South of Savannah, in a high-rise hotel in downtown Atlanta, half the state of Georgia to his name. He'd be set for life in this colonial man. Yeah. 